Hello and welcome to Too Much Robert Partridge, the vlog, episode three. Episode three. <clears throat> I'd like to start things off with a brand new sentimental acoustic, acoustic, acoustic ditty. Goes like this. Things got hot and heavy at the America West Bank. It seemed the teller had just seen Fifty Shades of Grey. The way we held eye contact, like that Jodie Foster movie that didn't tank. Maybe there's something. To investigate, or she thought I looked like Charles Manson, and I just need a shave. I was stricken with diarrhea this morning. Speaking of bowel movements, my song "Everybody Poops" uh, REM parody I did in a couple years ago has been getting some plays. So thanks for watching that. Okay. Let's go here. Watch it here. No, not there. Here. Oh, I'm gonna hate me in editing. Yeah, I, I was surprised Weird Al hadn't gotten to that about uh, 15, 12 years ago, but uh, I'm glad he didn't because I was able to do it. I don't know, it, it was easy to write. It just, it, uh, it, it flowed fluidly, let's say. Let's not say that. Anyway, watch it there. Marathon Watch 2015. You know it, it it's here. It's day 44 of 147. Last week I, I thought I'd run my fastest 10K, which I had, but this week I ran it faster. So last week I was wrong in retrospect, futurely speaking. I did a 10K in 46.52 at 7.34 pace, much better than my 7.44 pace from last week. Uh, my, my patella is still in, hasn't popped out yet, and I think it's maybe getting better. Patella's crossed. Today is Michael Jordan's birthday, so I hope you're doing what I'm doing and watching all his VHS tapes that you've acquired over the years, uh, starting with Michael Jordan's Playground and ending with the making of Michael Jordan's Playground. Um, that's, that's what I'll be doing today. Greatest basketball player of all time. And the, the cockiest post-NBA player of all time, but justly so. Let's give it to him. His only mistake, the uh, Hitler mustache and the Haynes commercial, so, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good record. I love Michael Jordan. I'm brought to tears by his uh, hang time. As a man, that's, it takes a lot to say that, but, uh, yeah, I've, I've seen other men brought to tears by his hang time, so I don't feel so bad. Nameless Legend update. I found out uh, my first Boys Delicious album is still on iTunes from, uh, Recorded in 07, but I just did a music video for Secret Garden uh, in the last six months or so. Here's a song called Body Double. No, no, no. That's from the second album. Here's a song called Body Zoo from the first album. And, uh, you can buy this on iTunes. Good old, I go to Body Zoo. Let me learn things I never knew. I bought my own Body Zoo shoe. I even bought binoculars so I can see you both so close and pick your poor. I adore the most. I'll study you just like a lion. You're my favorite kind of science. for your manure. It's a, it's a poo-themed day today. That's part of Body Zoo, and that's part of the Boys Delicious self-titled album, and that's available on iTunes. I don't think I can link to it because it's not YouTube-related, but I'll point places. Valentine's Day should be banned. <laughs> this wasn't a Valentine's Day year for me, but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe next year. <laughs> The NBA All-Star Game happened. That uh, was fun. Uh, I was bummed Blake Griffin wasn't in it because Clippers are my team. But Chris Paul was in there. This not awesome assists. Two, MVP Russell Westbrook. He's deserving of the MVP because he hit his head on the backboard during a dunk. And that, that should just be... Even if he didn't score another basket, he should get MVP for hitting his head on the backboard during a dunk. It was tough though because the SNL 40th show was on kind of at the same time 
just can you can can you guys time these things better? Just you know, there's two huge events in my life. Can you just separate them by you know an hour? Thanks. Oh, another highlight: NBA All Star Game was uh, early in the game. Someone got a block, and the camera panned to Dikembe Mutombo wagging his finger, doing the Mutombo next to Bill Clinton, who was just smiling at him. I don't know why they're sitting next to each other, but I'm so happy they were. And I, I took a, a snapshot of it, and I just, I hope I remember to look at it for an hour every day, so my life will be better. If I remember to, it will be. Yeah, but SNL 40th, some highlights. First of all, I just, it gave me a warm feeling. You know, I grew up watching it, and I still try to watch it every week. And I think they did a great job of combining old sketches with new sketches, old cast with new cast. I think they really had some highlights in there. Yeah, it made me feel like comedy good. Uh, highlight was uh, both Jim Carrey and Norm Macdonald in the Celebrity Jeopardy sketch. I think I've been wanting to see those two together for years. And, uh, well, I, I have, I just I can't think of the time they were. That just felt like a great sketch. I think they did all they could with that. It felt like a modern day classic. SNL, you're all right in my book. You know, it's been a dream to be on SNL for me. I'm 30. That feels a little late. But, uh, yeah, who knows? Next year. Right, right, Lauren? Yeah. Yesterday was President's Day, and I celebrated by trying to name four of them. I got three, I think. And I was counting two bushes. Two bushes, one stone. I'm not going to bring up 19,999 this week. I'm not. Because each time I bring it up, I don't do it. So, this is me not bringing it up. It's not going to happen. I'm not even saying a thing about it. If I don't mention it, it will happen. So I'm not mentioning it. Not going to happen. It will happen. Not going to happen. It'll happen. Okay. See you next week. Bo boy? Bye. 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 Bye is the word. Bye.